Good morning, beloved of God. Shalom Alechem. Peace be unto you. It's a delight to have your space again on this platform, Destiny Voyagers. My name is Ebifa Woku. Beloved, more than your feelings. That's the subject for this morning. You can meet yourself on a higher level. The reason you seem limited is because you have not appreciated the magnitude of investment of God upon your life. The truth is, you are not bound by the get-by philosophy that seems to permeate our existence. The Bible says God is able to do exceedingly, not that he will do. The Bible says he can do, he is able to do abundantly above what we can ask or imagine. But look at this, according to the power that is at work within us. Ephesians 3, 20b is my emphasis. Beloved, you have no reason to pray small, ordinary get-by prayers. You have the liberty to ask God for big things. You can ask God for open doors that would otherwise not open. Or you can, take your f- you can ask God to take you further than anyone in your family. God shall answer you. There are three things today. Number one, think differently. Not as a victim, not victim mentality. You better demolish arguments and pretension that sets themselves against the knowledge of God in your life. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5. Number two, dear the impossible, because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Philippians 4 verse 13. Number three and finally, pray bold prayers. Hebrews 4 verse 16 says, Come boldly to the throne of grace that you may obtain mercy and find grace to help in times of need. This morning we shall sing this song, Dare to be a Daniel. As we sing, may our spirit be lifted. Standing by a purpose true, heeding God's command, honor them, the faithful few, all hail to Daniel's band. Dare to be a Daniel, dare to stand alone. There to have a purpose firm, there to make it known. Many mighty men are lost, daring not to stand. Who for God had been a host by joining Daniel's band? There to be a Daniel, there to stand alone. There to have a purpose firm, there to make it known. Beloved, until I connect with you tomorrow, may God's blessings rest on you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.